Mr. Kampmann, please explain the history of LITEV. LITEV was founded in 1961 as an offset company when Germany bought the Starfighter and restarted with this procurement the involvement again of German industry into, into a defense uh, market in, in aviation. And LITEV from that point of time onwards was producing inertial navigation systems for all the flying objects of the of the of the German army that includes the Phantom, that includes the uh, MRCA Tornado and of course today the Eurofighter. Plus all the equipment which is below the wings, so the missiles. What technological innovations led to LITEV's leadership in the world? Of course we have developed all the, the given technology of inertial navigation, which was at the beginning mechanical gyros to fiber optical gyros and today to MEMS gyros, which reduces size at the same performance at a lower price and we continue to develop on the FOC and MEMS base in order to increase accuracy and all of what we do is ITER free and developed in Freiburg in Germany. What does the future hold for LITEV? I, I believe the future will, con will be continue to get more accuracy at a smaller size, at lower energy consumption and of course for the customer at a more competitive and price, more value for money. That's what we're looking for and always, as said before, ITA free and together with the German customer whom we are serving since 60 years.